Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've just taken delivery of this box. We're going to do a quick unboxing, show you what it is, and then um, give it a test run out on the bike. Stick around. First off, we have a GoPro 8 Media Mod. We have a dual battery charger and a spare battery. You beauty. We have another GoPro battery, so that'll give me hopefully three all up. Um, I have a GoPro 9 Max lens um, to hope. Keep things at a horizontal when I'm out fishing. We have a GoPro 9 Media Mod. Okay, so I've got I've already got the GoPro 8, so that makes sense. Two batteries, Media Mod and the Lens Mod. Ah, you little ripper, there is a GoPro 9 in there, so we're gonna try out the new 9 and see how we go. So I'll take it all out and do some B-roll. <laughs> uh, we've got the GoPro 9, we've got the GoPro 9 Media Mod, the Max Lens Mod, the rechargeable battery, the dual battery charger with extra battery and the GoPro 8 Media Mod. And then down here we've got some um, Mini Lav wind socks and a couple of new mics. Gee, I hope this works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the GoPro 9 I'm going to put it to the settings that I'm looking for then charge the batteries and hook it all up and see how we go So I'll put all the settings up of what I'm going to try I'm not clever enough to figure it all out myself so I've watched someone else's video If I can find a link to their video I'll put it in the description so In case someone else has the issue You get your GoPro 9 right and I've got a bunch of other stuff as you saw and yes, you know, when you saw me unbox it, I didn't see it because all I was doing was I was pulling the, the box out. The little SD card is sitting right there. So there's no warning. Um, it's just, it's in this tiny little packaging. As you can see, that's it, nothing else. And it was sitting between the GoPro and the, and the plastic bag. So, the SD card was sitting in there in the rubbish bin. Lucky I found out where it was, so whew. check your rubbish. <laughs> now let's hear this mighty Yoshi roar through the mic just there off the media mod for the GoPro 8. I've set up a um, very quick set up on the GoPro 5 on a clamp, so it's not going to look real pretty. The GoPro 9 is hooked up onto the front of my helmet there. I've got it upside down to see how that looks. And you can see I've got the um, the mic just clipped in in there. Really hoping that works. I reckon anyone who's watching my channel should um, scull a beer or have a shot or something every time I say Yoshi or how to, how sweet is that sound? Because I reckon by the end of this video, you'll have had a few and you'll be feeling pretty happy. And you may just hit that subscribe button. So this will be a good test to see if the new setup works. Windy conditions. I'm out in the open. So it'd be nice to see if um, these little wind socks work. Because um, I'm not going to get any more open than this. Especially out in the bush and that. It'll be not a bit easier in the bush. I can, you know, it's pretty loud in my helmet, so I'm hoping that the um, wind filtering's pretty good. I've turned it all off on the on the GoPro settings, so I guess we'll just see. But why did I do this huge upgrade? Why did I spend all this money? Fair question, because I had the GoPro 8, and 
nothing wrong with it, eh? Awesome GoPro, if you ask me. And I guess the reason is, is because I hit 200 subs. <laughs> Celebration mode, guys, you know? It's a milestone. So thanks to those that have watched and supported. Now, <laughs> you should see the plans for when I hit 500. It's going to change the dimension of my channel. Oh, yeah, no, nah, the real reason is because um, what we were using was a pretty fiddly setup and I was having some some audio issues where even though we were going to these extremes to get the audio, I was coming home and ended up with nothing. Basically what we were doing is hooking up, um, you know, just the microphone section of, a, of what you get with your phone, chop the earplugs off and hooking up the mic to a phone, having a cord run from the helmet to a phone in the backpack and trying to marry up the, the audio, <laughs> trying to match up the audio with the video that way. And yeah, it was, it was pretty hard work. It's not just for me, but also for the young fella, especially if you want to hop off the bike you'd have this bloody bag dangling off with you and um yeah it was it wasn't the ideal situation like i said the last probably three trips i'd come home and there must have been a bad connection between the mic and and the phone and i'd, I'd get nothing so now what it means as well is I can put the GoPro 8 on Callum's bike, my son, and you know the video footage will be better on his bike. He'll have the media mod for for talking, and um, it should be just a bit smoother. It's, it's a bit smoother with the footage we get, and also for editing. Because with the media mod, now it doesn't matter if I turn, you know, if I turn a clip on and off. I don't need to marry up the audio with the visual each time because it's all just saved into the GoPro, into the one S SD card. What it does mean, I've still got to marry up all the GoPros together though. Now that I've got the extra GoPro though, I'm going to have to match the three GoPros, but yeah, that's, that's much easier. Oh, that exhaust. It's like music to your ears. I'll just do a replica ride of yesterday. Head down to the boat ramp, see if there's any crazy people out again today. And that exhaust, she's magic. Yeah, that wind is terrible coming through here. I know I said the same thing yesterday. Um, really quite strong. I can hear all I can hear is the wind noise almost way out of the, my exhaust to be honest. I really wonder if this thing would be this sort of setup would really suit a visor, eh? Like this might work nicely out in the bush. We're only sort of going up to this sort of speed. And um, changing the setup to the visor when I'm doing road sort of riding. See the tides out now. Opposite time of the day to yesterday. A few trailers here. Hear that exhaust again, eh? Oh, you just don't get sick of hearing it, do you? It's it's just so crisp. Hard ride. 
But it's a bit busier today. Oh, there's markets on. That'll bring the crowds in. Oh, yeah, got to wear masks. Imagine it'll be pretty busy along here now, afternoon walks and stuff. Busy, busy, busy. All the holiday makers. But um, I'm even noticing Harvey Bay. It's just getting busy even when it's not the holidays. Especially the boat ramp and in traffic and stuff. But you can run, you can see why. Beautiful part of the world. Look at that. Chop windy as, but this side of the beach, this side of um, Harvey Bay, it's well protected from the southeast. So even in the on days like today, um, you could still go supping and paddle boarding and that sort of thing for a, probably 50 metres to 100 metres out. Then the wind will catch up with you. But scenic wise, it doesn't look like it's rough for hundreds of metres out. Yeah, it's just, just nice. So yeah, the next trip would be to go to Fraser Island, camp there for a night or two, ride amongst the big trees in the rainforest, and then pull out on a 75 mile beach, check out the lakes, maybe float down Eli Creek if it's still warm enough. Um, really just have a bit of an adventure, really. It's it's nice and close. It's about 110 bucks, I think, to get your bike there and back. And then, um, you know, you got your camping options. So yeah, hopefully in the next month or so. Nice if someone could join me, a mate or two. Um, but if not, I guess I'll just try it solo. Because I reckon it's better you do than you don't. Biggest challenge will be We'll be riding on the sand. You know, I'm not a, a real competent rider, but um, I sort of figure, you know, if I just take it easy, I'll be right. I'll be able to see everything I want to see, for sure. You know, I'm not one for, for flying around and doing everything for the speed and thrill of it. I'm, I'm more inclined to just enjoy the cruise, enjoy the experience, enjoy the scenery, and, um, that's certainly what I'll try and take away from it. Holy do, a big wind crosswind there. So look out for that vid coming. Yeah, beautiful, look at that. Nice and calm for 100 metres or so. I'll take this turn, I reckon. So we won't do the whole nard. Just a talkie. Talkie, because I'm being a bit talky today. And the DRZ's pretty talky too. Woo! Haha. <laughs> Alright, I might just pull over here, I think. Try that wind wind filter. See how we go. So this is where I would hear that clicking sound. I guess we'll, we'll hear if it's still there or not. Just pretty much gonna go around the block here. Just, just sort of see what difference this windsock makes in you know, each, each of the four directions that I've, I've traveled so far. Make it somewhat of a fair test. And away we go. Oh, hear that Yashi roar! Woo! 
Just in case there's anyone in YouTube land going, are we there yet? We don't know where we're going to, we're there. We don't know where we're going to, we're there. We could be going here. We could be going there. We don't know where we're going to, we're there. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully you're still tuned in. Hopefully you haven't left me yet. Um, we're going to see if we can find our way to a bit of bush. So it seems we can sneak through for a quick look. I imagine it's going to be pretty wet. There's a the plane. Oh, this is wet. Yeah, we've had some rain. So even this section's wet, holy dooly, eh? I don't think I'm going to get through. No. No going that way. Like, these are just cheap, real cheap eBay mics. I think I got three for 12 bucks delivered. So, if I find out it's the mic that is the problem, please let us know what what you guys are using because um, some of the mics I hear while you guys are vlogging they just sound real sweet and you guys are doing 100k's an hour which means that's got to be at least equivalent to this wind fair enough you know you might have um, visor helmets I reckon that would make a huge difference actually if I had a visor it just shut up it would just shut down Pretty much all this wind noise. Sweet sounding exhaust that one. So I've got no wind noise in the helmet for a change. And that's because I'm wearing the visor helmet as you can see. So all I can hear now is a loud echo of my own, my own voice. And I know that microphone is very close to my mouth. Not much room in this helmet. Um, I couldn't put that windsock on on this one. There's just no room. I would have been eating it. Been eat like eating a dead cat. <clears throat> but I've got a gut feeling that. Well, this is certainly much nicer to ride on the road with. Holy dooly! I don't have all that drumming and. Gee, that, just that noise coming in. And I was dead set shouting before, eh? You know, with the motocross helmet on, I was um, shout like it felt like I was shouting over the top of the um, over the top of the wind. So this test here, going a different way, just to break it up a bit. But still windy. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to hook this up onto an 80k zone. Go around the roundabout that leads into Harvey Bay and then cruise back home. So that way I'll have been in all four directions again. So still somewhat of a fair test. I'm not speaking anywhere near as loud. You know, my throat was hurting. I was almost shouting the whole time. Here I can hear the, the sort of echo of my own voice. Um, and I don't want to talk loud at all, so it's complete opposite, <coughs> isn't it? rain over there just to my left only a, what, a kilometer or two away so it's fairly heavy rain too by the look of it in patches it's actually a bit closer than I thought they about up Help. 
melting down up that way. is getting a few sprinkles on it now so I guess the, the front GoPro's probably got a couple on it oh the DRZ's pulling power up the hill you little beauty it's like what hill what you call that a hill it says <laughs> change, of dire change of direction Remember, it's just as windy outside. Might just open that visor a notch. Wonder what difference that's just made. So, just opening the visor a notch. I can definitely feel a bit more wind coming in. I wonder what sort of effect it's had on the mic. Hey, uh. Alright, uh, so now I've got a car behind me. Bring that mop, that visor back down. Let's hear that Yoshi. Just sounds so sweet. So there you go. Three experiments. First one was um, the microphone pretty, you know, just hanging off the cheek pad on our motocross helmet. Second attempt was the microphone moved up right up towards the chin, the chin chin area and the third one this one with the with the visor on and going in this direction now that wind is is pretty strong um geez these helmets though so good at protecting you from the environment um so yeah hopefully there's some clear differences between the three some with the wind sock on, some with it off, and um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the game where you had to drink, have at least a sip or a drink every time I said Yoshi. Or if you didn't play along with the drinking game, hopefully every time you heard that beautiful Yoshi sound, you got a little smile on your face. Had a delivery today and pretty sure the comms arrived so shouldn't be long before Cal and I are testing them out on the track. Oh how about that Yoshi? I think I've got another one in me too. Another corner. sound of that Yoshi. <laughs> Alright hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like. If you want to see more, subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next one. Hooroo!